Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. In today's video, I'm bringing you guys another Twitter header um, tutorial on Pixlr. This time I'm actually doing it for Valorant. And then as always in today's tutorial, I will be providing you guys the template as well as that I will provide you guys with the render. And I do have some extras I'll show you guys how to get as well. So before we get too far into today's video, if you guys can go down there, hit that subscription button and hit a like on this video, I would greatly appreciate it. I have a Valorant thumbnail tutorial coming very soon to the channel. I also have a Warzone thumbnail tutorial coming really, really soon um, as well for Pixlr. So again, make sure you guys do have notifications on so you guys do know when my videos do go live And then just one more thing before we actually get into the video you guys do join my discord server down in the description in there You guys actually will find all of the extra renders for like the Valorant stuff So if you guys can see I'm in my server right here If I actually go to the render section right here You guys can see that I actually did just upload all of my renders right here So if you guys are already a member in the discord you guys have this renders channel unlocked in my server And without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump into today tutorial All right, so the first thing you guys are gonna wanna do as always in all my tutorials is go down in the description. There's a top link, it's a Google Drive link. Go ahead and click that and just download all of the free assets that I do provide for you guys. Now again, all of that stuff is free without like joining the Discord or anything, but if you guys do want some extra skins other than like this jet skin that I did provide you guys, make sure to join the Discord for more different ones. But make sure to download all four of these, including the font and to go ahead and just drag it to your desktop or somewhere where you know it is. All we're gonna do is go to our browser here. All right, so we're gonna head to Pixel E right here you guys can type it in just like I did in the top or I will leave the description in the link as always if you guys just want to click that instead we're gonna to go to open image we're actually gonna find that template that I just downloaded I saved mine in the desktop so I'm gonna go ahead and go to the assets folder and I'm gonna click the official template jet now if you guys want a different color for a different like Valorant skin you guys don't want it to be blue to match like the jet skin you guys are using a different one from the server you guys can actually just before you do anything double click this lock layer to actually unlock this background and you want to make sure to go to adjustment and go to hue and saturation this is an easy way to just change the hue of your overall background say you're going for like a phoenix one and you want to go for like an orange or something like this you can drag it to the orange color right like this say drag the saturation up to make it you know pop a little bit more kind of get that orange color out but that's obviously not what the thumbnail is the thumbnail does have a jet skin so i'm gonna hit cancel I'm just gonna leave that. Now the first thing we're gonna do is just to add our render. So we're gonna go to layer, and we're gonna go to add image as layer. Now I'm gonna click on this jet render. Now, as you guys can see, I provided a matching Fortnite render, if that's you know, your guys' thing, and you guys don't play Valorant, you guys don't really care about the game, I guess. Yeah, it matched super well, so I went ahead and included it, but we're just gonna go for the jet one right here. And as you guys can see, it already added it in, and it's transparent. So we're just gonna drag it down a little bit, and we're gonna make sure the top is just barely kind of cutting off right here. And we're going to kind of have it right where I had it in the thumbnail. Now I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this jet render and I'm just going to do the same thing I always do with my renders. I'm just going to add a little bit of contrast and just a little bit of brightness to make it pop a little bit. Then I'm also going to go to filter and I'm going to go to outer glow. I believe it's this one right here. And I'm just going to add a little bit of a white outer glow. I'm going to make the opacity and the feather all the way up. And I think that looks about good there. Just the opacity a little bit. Hit apply. So now I think that looks about good. Let's go ahead and just get our text in. Now what we need to do is go to the text tool down here and we're gonna click add text. Now, as you can see, it brings up our text layer. Now, what we actually need to do is in that Google Drive that you guys downloaded before the beginning of the video, there is also a font file in there. Now, all you have to do is make sure you do, you know, get that onto your desktop or somewhere where you know it is on your computer. Then go to the font and go to add local font all the way at the bottom. And we're gonna find, as you can see, it already brings up the folder I was just in. I can click League Spartan, which is the specific font that I did use and included in that Google Drive. We're gonna go ahead and double click it and it automatically adds it in. We're gonna click on League Spartan because we do need to click it again and it's gonna bring it up. Now, what I also did to make the text look a little bit cooler is I went to, I believe it's Styles. No, I believe it's Format. Yeah, it's Format. And then you can actually click this italic right here. And if you guys also wanna make it bold too, you guys could, um, might make it look a little cooler. But now you guys can see it's italic. I'm just, if you guys wanna put like tens as an example, um, I might just put ice kicks. I don't know, it doesn't really matter. You guys are obviously gonna be putting your name in. But again, now we have it already selected on white, which is perfect. Now to size it, all we need to do is drag the size up all the way, maybe around 160, however you guys think it fits. And we're gonna go like this. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this text layer here and I'm gonna go to layer and I'm gonna go to rasterize layer. Now that text layer is actually just a regular image layer. So if I click on it and I go to edit 
free transform. I can actually now size it however I want. I can hold shift, kind of, you know, stretch it from side to side. If I don't hold shift, it's just gonna stretch the whole thing. So I'm gonna make it just look a bit kind of nicer here. And I'm also gonna kind of angle it here. And I'm gonna put it right here. My name's a little bit longer, so I'm just gonna move the jet render a little bit to the right here. And I'm gonna put the ice cakes underneath the jet render. I'm gonna click the three dots next to this jet render. I'm gonna lock this real quick so I don't end up moving it. I'm just gonna kind of finish this up how I want it and kind of put it like that. Now, since it's already an image layer, you guys can see in the thumbnail, if we go back to the actual one that I made, as you guys can see, some of the text is actually cut out like in the corners. So how I did that actually, is I just went back to the actual project. And what I did was since it's already rasterized, I can take this lasso tool, go to the polygon one in the top left, and I can actually just kind of scroll in with the scroll wheel on my mouse. I can just cut out stuff myself. I click every time I want to make a point here. And as you guys can see, I can click back to the original spot, just hit backspace when I click on the, the layer, and go to select, deselect, and as you can see, it kind of cut it out a little bit. I can go down here, kind of do this, just kind of how I had it in the thumbnail. I'm gonna click backspace, select, deselect, and that's how I kind of got there. Now I might do it a couple more times here, just to give you guys another example. Click back to where I started, click backspace, go to select, deselect, and that's kind of how I got those. And that's pretty much it for your banner. Um, if you guys want to add social media and stuff like that, make sure to go ahead and just check out some of my other videos. I show in pretty much every tutorial how to add it. I'm not really going to show it anymore because it's like the same thing. And in my Discord server as well, you guys can find um, images for like all of the social medias and stuff like that. Now that you guys have it how you want it, and you guys have, you know, your render in, you know, matching whatever background and your name specifically or whatever name you guys want, you know, in there, make sure to just go file and go to save and just make sure it's named whatever you guys want it. And actually I've been recommending now people go to PNG to actually save it. Cause if you can see the highest quality for JPEG is only 748 um, kilobytes. And if we actually go to PNG, it's actually 1.3 megabytes, which is actually more than the other one. So technically it's a higher quality image. So if you guys do want, you know, more of a higher quality image, I've been recommending people to just save them as PNGs, then maybe just converting it to a JPEG later down the road. But just make sure it's on 1500 by 500, click download, and then you guys have your official banner that you guys can go onto your Twitter profile and apply. Again, I appreciate you guys so much for watching all the way till the end of the video. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, be sure to go ahead and leave them in the comment section down below. I'll catch you guys in the next video on the channel. Thank you for watching. Peace.